So this is our follow-up review to the BMW F850 GS Adventure. Um, I said I was going to do some off-roading stuff with it. So we're at the trail today. I'm with Jeff on the 701 Enduro. Um, we've ended up having this bike basically for about three months. Um, we're only meant to have it for two weeks, but because of lockdown and stuff like that, we've had it a little bit longer. So I feel kind of obliged to take the big girl off-road. So we're going to see how she gets on. thing away there we go and change the mode to enduro mode here we go so this is a legal uh, byway open to all traffic um, that I know pretty well it's uh, probably one of the more tame trails that we've got and I think it's probably quite well suited to the F850 and um, sort of how confident I am on this on this bike in terms of off-roading there's also a few walkers out today as well so we just take it easy take it steady and let's see how she gets on interestingly enough this was actually the one of the places that we um, shot the urban pro utility uh, campaign a couple of months ago in the snow and it's amazing to see how much the trail has changed in the limited amount of time so that's the beautiful thing about this enduro mode is it really looks after you, you give it a handful of gas and you know the traction is so good on it it's really really lovely it's gonna it's just gonna look after you basically now the the, the reason why we came this side of the trail is because actually the other side it gets pretty rocky and I don't know whether I'm gonna bail on it or or not yet, you know, because it's quite uh, it's quite rugged for this bike, and I'm just not that confident on it. Little stream crossing there. Now uh, this is sort of home for this bike. So comfortable. Just taking it in its stride. I mean, so far so good. This this uh, GS kind of rides similar to it rides on the road, which is incredibly comfortable. The suspension is super, you know, super plush, super uh, easy to manage just a really really nice experience and so far so good off uh, you know off the tarmac it's soaking up bumps here there and everywhere really 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 nice mate we could be in Spain look at how dry and barren this is you don't often see the Lake District like this I tell you So yeah, it's got 215 mm of travel uh, suspension. Not that we're going to be using um, all of that at all. So it's a good, it's a good level. I don't think it's quite as long as the um, 790 Adventure R. Nor do I think it's an as aggressive, uh, an off-road terrain sort of machine as that bike. Um, I think this is more orientated towards sort of long travel, long distance uh, adventure, I should say. A bit of this type of stuff, a lot of road work. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi 
round the world sort of stuff really and I tell you what if you were going to go around the world on a long distance machine this one would be high highly up your list now, of course some people might choose a 1250 for a bit more grunt and stuff but you know it's so comfortable so plush four five hundred miles a day uh, road riding on this machine no issues whatsoever and a bit of this sort of stuff no issues and I would say this this is the kind of terrain that uh, this bike is built for you know easy going uh, long trail type work you know where it's not too rough not too uh, not too bumpy doesn't get out of sorts at all it's just easy 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 peasy so far it's really um, really an easy experience and to be fair actually when we uh, talked about doing this I had quite a lot of like pre-ride anxiety about doing this because I just think this bike is you know it's a quarter of a ton basically and I have dropped it when we were in the forest I dropped it uh, up the top of the forest I was on my own and it was an absolute beast to pick it up it really really was um, so that's you know I wouldn't do anything on my own with this bike basically um, from that point of view I just wouldn't want to pick it up if it goes uh, if it goes wrong because you know you're not guaranteed like a perfect pickup either you know you might drop it down one of those um, ditches just down there you might drop it on loose ground and you can't get a good foothold to dig your heels in and pick it up you know all that sort of stuff so you do need a mate with you in my opinion but so far mate easy peasy So a couple of things that this bike's definitely got going for it is kind of the fact that it is almost so heavy it just kind of wafts over everything it's like um it's like the titanic it's just got it's just got massive presence and that just means to be fair for this it just sort of like floats over it it's like ballast so so big and uh, and heavy it just sort of like gets over everything like that's nothing I've just been on the um, Enduro 701 and it and it's quite a lot rougher the suspension on that bike doesn't do anywhere near like soak up the bumps like this one does that's a lot uh, harder this is so much more plush don't get me wrong there's a different world in terms of actual off-roading capability but in um you know in just sort of like having a leisurely uh, trail ride let's just say I'm surprised and obviously the engine no need to sort of mess around it's a phenomenal you know loads of power way more than you'd ever need for this sort of stuff Whoop. through the puddle
It's also got a ridiculously light clutch on it as well. That is a good thing for especially when you're going slower. You can just pull it in with one finger and very light, very easy to manage. And the engine isn't snappy at all. It's very uh, easy for a rider at my level. You know, just to sort of modulate that throttle without it getting sort of too, uh, you know, too out of sorts basically. It's very uh, compliant. Look at this. So that's Skiddaw Mountain over there, one of the highest in England. Unfortunately, you can't ride a motorbike up it but spent half my childhood riding push bikes up it but unfortunately not for motorbikers open the gate can't you? yeah so there's a gate just at the bottom and uh, Jeff's just going ahead to open it OBS coming on nicely because this has turned all very uh, dry and slippy, very dusty. So the ABS is needing to sort of kick in right now. It's a lot grippier when it's wet, this, this terrain, in my opinion. But on a bike like this, on this type of public road, you ain't looking to set the world on fire in terms of speed. You're just looking to, well, just to get it done and enjoy yourself. You know, you're not looking to sort of pull big wheelies or you get it massively sideways or anything like that. I think you're just looking to kind of get through it and get out the other side without too, without dropping it basically. Well, at least that's my approach. Thank you. First gear. This is the bit I'm not sure of. This is the bit I am not sure of. I've just checked out with the Husky, and I'll tell you something, it doesn't look out on GoPro, but I'm telling you something, this is bloody steep. Not this bit. This bit's fine, but the bit down from here is steep and slippy and rocky and just not very friendly and I think I'm pushing it to go on this bike but let's go let's let's see how she gets on I think if I keep oh shit, if I keep to the left here I should be fine dab oh. if I keep to the left I'll be fine. That, to be fair, that was probably one of the hardest bits. Oh, what am I doing? It's very slippy. Oh, oh, oh. And she's gone. I need a hand. <laughs> there we go. Now I think I can. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. I still want it here. So I'm just gonna no up and tilt and back forward and tilt there we go
yeah. Holy And that's why it's hard to do this sort of stuff on a adventure bike. Okay, so we've pretty much finished our day's riding on this F850 GS Adventure. Honestly, it's been way, way better than I was anticipating. I've had quite a lot of anxiety over the past couple of days um, taking this bike off-road. I wanted to do it because obviously the last review that we did was more on-road based and I, because we've had the bike so long, I really wanted to you know, give it justice, take it off-road, get some footage and also get some experience as well. Actually, yes, it, it's, it's been way better than what I expected, particularly in the, the beginning part of the trail. I think this bike is is really well suited to sort of like fire trail type stuff. You know, it's a bit flatter, um, you know, even it's dusty, it's rocky a little bit, but it's it's flatter, more the basic sort of stuff, um, which I'll put in on the GoPro right now, what I'm talking about. That kind of terrain, this bike eats for breakfast. Honestly, the suspension is so plush on this bike. I said it was plush on the road. That totally translates to how it rides off-road as well. Um, it just soaks up the bump, soaks up the ruts. Um, it's a big ship. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Quarter of a ton bike, and it's a big ship. It's got ballast. You know, that's what I think about this bike. It's got loads of ballast, basically. And that kind of translates to a trail-type environment. You know, basically, it, it, it soaks up all the bumps, soaks up all the ruts. It, it doesn't get knocked off its line very easily because it just sort of, it's like the Titanic, it just goes through waves, um, through ruts, through rocks, uh, through different ruts and stuff like that. It's a, it's a really good trail bike, way better than what I was anticipating. However, I think, you know, in line probably with my anxiety about this particular ride, you do end up finding the limitations of it when you start putting it into more sort of aggressive uh, terrain. You'll have seen that we, yeah, did end up binning it, um, coming down. And on the GoPro footage, it probably looks dead flat to be fair, but it, it's such a wide field of view. You can't see how actually steep it is, but I'm telling you, it's steep, it's rocky. And because it's been so dry here as well, it's really, really slippy, um, very dusty and stuff like that, the rocks. And, you know, once this bike uh, gets going, you know, it gets out of sorts. Because it's so heavy, it's very, very difficult to, to get it back in line, basically. And it's a good job Jeff's here because I don't know how I'd have got it off the side of that um, that mound that we got it caught on. Um, but, you know, obviously we did. I just think that, you know, you've just got to have your expectations in mind with this bike. Don't, probably don't take it on stuff like what we've done uh, today, taking it on that sort of semi-technical, steep and rocky sort of stuff, unless you're really experienced. Of course, there's guys out there that can ride the wheels off these things, but they're either tending to be incredibly experienced, you know, very, very strong or very tall. And, you know, kind of just steer yourself away from your expectation on that one if you don't sort of match those um, three things, because I think it takes a bit of muscle in a bike like this and or a huge amount of experience. If you're like me and you're sort of like, you know, you're half decent, but you're looking to build your confidence, I'd probably steer clear of this type of stuff because when it does go wrong, it knocks your confidence undeniably um, and it makes you not want to do it again, basically. Um, having said that, I think it's a really good bike. I think it's a fantastic on-road bike. I think it's great in a fire trail uh, sort of environment where you're not pushing it too hard and you're sort of doing the more basic sort of terrain. I think it, it, it just eats that stuff for breakfast. So been a really fun day absolutely enjoyed it. I tell you what, the other thing this bike's got going for it is fantastic uh, crash protection, not a single mark on it. The suspension is really good, tyres are great, uh, TKC 80s, great uh, match for the bike, um, and the enduro mode as well, really works well off-road, and you know, I, I, I'm not sure whether we got it on camera or not, but you can really kick out a good uh, a good amount of shale when you wind this thing on without it going too sort of sideways and stuff. It's a really nice motor. So I hope you enjoyed that little review. Uh, please like, please comment, please subscribe to the channel too. All the gear that we're using to protect ourselves on trails like this, 
and also on the road as well. I'm going to put in the link in the description so you can go and check that out. We're going to get back on the road now and get back home and uh, probably for a nice cold beer, I think. Right, we are back on. I think I'll follow Jeff this time. Again, it probably doesn't look like anything, but that was loose as anything. Back on terra firma, back where she's a little bit happier. Um, but a fun time, nevertheless. Pretty good. 50. Wait till he gets to me. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh. Just hit me. Fifth gear. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Uh, Morsky's got it again. Fourth gear, four, three, two, one, go! 